Thank you. It's really, really good to be here again. Thank you. It's a wonderful initiative. I went, I, I'm going to share with you for a few moments two recent amazing experiences that I've had that relate to what I think is your theme for this year, giving to the community. Is that right? First, I've had the real privilege of serving on the panel of judges for the annual Muslim Awards for Excellence. It's a national competition, which has, I think, been in operation for at least eight years. And, of course, it is the initiative of the Muslim News and its editor produced here in Harrow. And I've been able to do this with Anila. We've been at it together. There are five of us on the judging panel, and I'm the only non-Muslim. It's been very fascinating to work with this group because we're very mixed, and we include an eminent West African, a French journalist, and a professor of Islamic studies from Wales. There have been well over 100 nominations in 14 categories, and I don't think I'm giving away any secrets when I say that I've been not only deeply impressed, but really, really humbled by the wonderful contribution that so many Muslims in Britain are making not only to the quality of life in the Muslim community, but more widely to the quality of life generally here in Great Britain. The 14 categories are very wide ranging, from medicine to sport, to community relations, and both men and women from all parts of life, all areas of life, and all parts of the country have been nominated. It isn't just the southeast. We, the judges, have been given a glimpse of what the Muslim community are giving to our national life today. Make no mistake, Britain would be now greatly impoverished if Muslims were not here. To me, it's been a very bright light on what sometimes does seem to be quite a dark horizon. The award ceremony will be attended by many political and other national leaders. The Prime Minister was there a few years ago, and it would be really, really good if the media would share this good news as well. Ten days ago, Four of us from our local interfaith group here in North Harrow found ourselves at an interfaith evening on climate change at the St. John's Wood Synagogue. The title was From Global to Local. Much of we heard that we heard was, of course, only too familiar. The terrible threat that global warming presents to the whole of the human race. And most of all, of course, to some of the poorest communities around the world. Temperatures now approaching 50 degrees in some places, rising sea levels, which will wipe living space out in every continent, extreme weather conditions. We were reminded yet again of the urgency of the situation and what our government and other governments are doing in response. Not enough, of course, anywhere. But the two main messages of the evening were, what can I do to make a difference? And what can we do together as faith communities? The four members of our North Harrow interfaith group present that evening have plenty to think about and plenty to work on. As Sheikh Mogra, another Deputy General Secretary of the Muslim Council of Great Britain, reminded us, care for God's world is at the heart of the Quran and of all the great faiths. What can we do here in Harrow now to give to the community and do it together? Thank you. <laughs>